Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is One Tech TV. And, and today I want to speak about the issue between Jaguar and the Eric Mondi and Kariongraphy. You know, in Kenya, the infrastructure of implementing copyright law has not been organized. That means the only institution that has been working on behalf of artists collecting, collecting the copyright uh, deals or the money coming from the institution that play music has failed. They have not been able to give artists what they deserve. Until recently, when YouTube and the Skiza tune did came to save the situation. Before that, an, in, an institution like MCSK, when it get permission from artists to collect revenue, it would go to citizen or media or nation or other big media. After collecting that, they wouldn't bother about collecting revenue on the cloud. What happened is, since, since uh, organization like MCSK, they did not have capacity throughout the country to collect revenue. You can imagine when you are in Nairobi and your music is being pirated somewhere in Kisumu. Can you go there yourself and present the complaint to the police and send the police handle your complaint? You are that you are unable even to, to, to get money to move around this country. One man tried that called Fox Pressure. Fox Pressure tried that. At one time, he was arrested in Maridi, was locked in jail for two weeks. And while in jail, he did contract a disease that finally brought him down. So, when we talk about the infrastructure of implementation of copyright law, we are talking about the available in its structure throughout the country. There is no such group which has that kind of capacity. That is why there is a problem. Because there some of law are, uh, should only be implemented by government, not an individual. So when Jaguar and the Eric Mondi are in conflict or even choreography about the cost of musician Pacho, when even foreigners come, it is because these foreigners at their country, they have in this fracture which cater for their uh, copyright rule. The same in Nigeria, the same other countries, the same in America. America even is better. You sell your copyright, you become rich. But here, what happened? We see same musician, some of them have not their original continent. They derive with other musicians. You would find somebody taking a guitar to playing someone on musician throughout the night. And he will say nothing to the musician who is the original singer. They pretend, oh, I am making that musician popular. How can you make a night, uh, night years old musician such, uh, such as Waganagu popular? No, you are stealing his copyright. That is what happened when you don't commit anything to the artist who is original of the who uh, who, uh, who wrote the song who sang it and who recorded the song unless he sold that copyright to someone else that is the only way out of the problem and the problem is because i have done global economy research that is why I'm able to present this fighting to you. Previously, the, poli uh, the Kenya uh, government tried to take some police to South Korea to study about implementation of copyright. When they came, they tried <laughs> to implement that. One day they were almost killed in Mosul. So, the copyright issue is what is empowering musicians on the ground. So when you don't get uh, your copyright, uh, copyright Jewess, what happened? You will not be able to continue with music. So the, the, 
it's a, it's a big media company. So it should be paying musician directly as an individual. Sign contract with every musician, whatever you pray for, for that year, you pay. But you don't pray for free. Because when you pray for free, it amount in stealing copyright of the musician. So, you have seen everybody trying to, to make it look like there is a big problem. But no, the issue is we seen the infrastructure, lack of infrastructure of implementing the copyright rule, lack of respect, lack of responsibility, uh, lack of balancing energy, knowledge, and wisdom with respect and possibility at this point. That is what is costing Kenyan musician, Kenyan artist, say your light, because in Kenya, the copyright is never respected. You can see even painters. Once you paint a, a, one painting at the sword, other will try to copy that. They will try to manipulate it. That is what happened with Maasai paintings. That is what happened with Batik. It was somebody who came up with that idea, but the other people decided, oh, we can get it for free. Instead of coming up with your own idea, and they implement it. That is what brings development, even in a country in America. If you must want to do something someone else has done, what you do is to go and sign contract with him to produce copies and they will sell, but not to take his original work and uh, multiply it without his consent. So that is what is happening in Kenya. No matter how Eric Komondi is doing, no matter how Jabwa is doing, no matter how Kaliography is doing, this is a failure of lack of structure to implement the copyright law. And you know, the only available uh, uh, structure that can implement such law is administration because it's the only one which is available on grassroots. But when you talk about music copyright, do they have, do they have uh, capacity to go throughout the country controlling copyright? Where yet administration say no you, they, yeah, they gave you birth certificate, they gave you, they insure the certificate when you die, they give you ID card, they, they, they know when you finish this school, they know you allowed, that is the only uh, available in the structure that can implement copyright rule. This is one tech TV, thank you so much, chair. Subscribe and like.